Thomas Wolfe said something to the effect you can never go home again. I think our human impulse, our human energy, our human attitude is a little different. I think a big part of the spiritual religious journey, understanding of meanings, finding a way to be in the world, has to do with a sense of finding a safe place, going home, finding a connection, finding a community, finding an ideal and ideas that we can put on, that we can say yes to, that we can celebrate in our lives by our, being, by our choices we make, by how we look at the world, how we engage it. Meditation and prayer is an opportunity to sort of look at that home goings energy, to consider it not as a, as a trial, not as an obligation, but it is an opportunity. Some of us get stuck. Some of us are burdened by the terrible ought. It ought to be this way. I ought to do this. I ought to be that way. All kinds of burdens can come to us from the external world and our own internal dialogue of how things should be. When sometimes we can be refreshed and blessed by just getting a sense of inventory of how things are. We have a community of friends. We have a home. We have a livelihood or a little bit of support that can get us from today, day by day. The situation of being fortunate is sort of ours. None of us are tremendously rich and none of us are tremendously poor. We're somewhere in between, but we're always hopeful. Meditation and prayer is an opportunity to look at the gifts we bring to life as we engage it. It's a talking to ourselves. It's a looking at uh, the gifts that are available to us. The parents that did the best they could. Maybe an opportunity to forgive them for the things they did not do and celebrate what's come through as our bequest. We look at our friends around us who accept us as we are with our flaws and our problems and our scars. So in a time of quiet meditation and prayer, I invite you to look at the gifts you carry. Look at the resources you have. Look at the reserve that's yours. Not what you don't have, not what you're missing, not what you're sad and mad about, but what you bring. And it may be in the awareness of your discomfort and your disease and your anxiety is a gift because it's an understanding of possibilities. In the negative, you can see the positive. In the shadows, you can see the light. In a time of silence, let us be together, going as individuals to the altar of a human heart to examine and celebrate and lift up and see again and maybe say yes again to life. From wonder to wonder we pass. Our passage is marked by days and months and years. We grow, we learn, we adapt, we start again. Each year the cycle comes around. Each year, year of our lives, we diminish a bit of the future for us, but we celebrate the richness of the past. Let us be here a community that says to yes to all that's been, got, been, been ours, been our experiences. Let us find with fresh eyes and an open heart lessons to learn, to take into the future. Let us put aside concerns of judgment and remorse, but find the strength to and the courage for new resolve to take the learnings and take the possibilities, not the restrictions and the regrets. Spirit of life, we seek the blessings of ongoing life to be at one with ourselves and the world. 
May we be examples of love, seeking to understand, seeking to reach out, seeking to lose ourselves in the possibilities in front of us. Let us not hold on to our pettiness, but let it go to embrace the wonder and the possibilities. For all the families here, the struggles they endure and are enduring, may they find peace. May in this place, in this community, in this bit of time, we be happy, we be a family, we be nourished by one another. The differences that divide us, set aside. The things we share, lift it up. For the blessings of life, thank you. For the wonders to be, yes. For our participation, always. Amen.